people who were made to choose between your pet or your partner. How did your ex react when you chose your pet? This is my favorite story from when I worked in a shelter. A guy came in to surrender his cat, with the reason that his girlfriend didn't like her. He starts filling out the paperwork, but part way through he just stops and says, screw this, I'm just going to break up with her instead. He picks up the cat and walks out the door, presumably to leave his GF. I hope he stuck to it and he and his cat got a happy ending. That guy and cat lived happily ever after. Not directly relevant, but we once took in a dog, whose human was asked to make this choice. Beautiful Vimarana. The guy brought the dog out to our house, on a hill in the woods with acres to roam dogs absolutely love it out here and we spend some time walking around letting the dog get used to the place and meet our other furry residents. We could tell it was really hard on both of them when he left. The next day he kicked the woman out, and came back for the dog. Happy ending all around. I'd say, reject woman, return for dog. She acted like she'd never even considered I'd choose the cat over her. I don't think that thought had ever entered her mind. Then she went into a big spiel about how I'm a loser. I'm missing out. There's only one of her. ETC etc. Yeah, I knew all that when I put my foot down over her idiotic jealousy of the cat liking me more than her. The cat is now 16 and still with me. Happy in her senior years. There's been other women since her. Ones that treated me a lot better than she did. It was a total win for both the cat and myself. It's a good thing that there's only one of her. Because she sounds like someone you wouldn't ever want to date again. She wasn't all bad. She had a temper. And had jealousy issues. Which manifested as jealousy against a kitten cat. I'm not doing a good job making her sound any better here am I? Okay yeah. She wasn't great. Not me but my sister choose our cat over her boyfriend of 4 months. He was furious when she dumped him and called her an idiot for picking a dirty flea bag over him. Cat was not a dirty flea bag. He just hated pets and wanted to try to control my sister. I was relieved when she dumped him. I never got good vibes from him. Jesus. I can't imagine having the gall to demand any kind of lifestyle change after only 4 months in a relationship let alone one as major as getting rid of a pet. Not my story but my friend. His GF forced him to choose between her or dog but that dog was remaining memento from his deceased mother and of course he instantly dumped his GF. His GF went from facile with expectations to beat red full of shame and anger and smashed his house windows when she left his house. Hope she got arrested. He couldn't do anything to report police cause he sells weed in his house and I could smell weed if I visit him and he don't want to police find out if he report to cops. Not exactly what you asked for, but I knew a couple that had to break up because she was badly allergic to his elderly dog. They were both understanding of the situation and theirs was no animosity. They ended up getting back together after the dog had passed away and are now very happy. I love this one. The dog got to live peacefully with a happy ending in the end. Did they have communication between breaking up and getting back together? Yes. They remained friendly during the two years they were broken up. They dated other people between and got back together after they both were single and the dog had passed from natural causes. Or oh, that makes me feel kinda nice. It also sounds like it could be a rom complot. Tagline. This ain't puppy love. A lot of very judgmental people in this thread seem to have forgotten that allergies are a thing. My wife is allergic to cats, so we don't have a cat. Her uncle is allergic to dogs, so the dog got grounded to another room while he visited. Sometimes a pet allergy is a deal breaker. My ex asked me if she thought my dog liked me or her more and I said me. She got genuinely mad and told me I am supposed to just lie to her. Didn't last long. Why would your dog like her better? Sounds like some entitlement. I remember him saying my diabetic cat needed to go so he could get a dog. We weren't even living together. I looked him dead in the eyes and said, my cat will outlive this relationship considering she was really sick at the time he said it was unlikely and stormed off. We broke up 6 years ago and my cat is still going strong. That's amazing. I'm worried about my cat getting diabetes because he's really resistant to bring handled and I think injections would be awful for him. But it's so good that she's doing so well. Pro tip, if your cat is diabetic they get hungry. We poke ours when she's eating because she's single minded at that point. No issues. In fact, she comes running when she hears a needle box rustling because she knows it means food. 
Not my partner but my mom gave away my dog when I was away on a trip visiting my sister when I was 18. She called me while I was away to explain my dad was going to leave her if she didn't rehome him. Fast forward several years later, my mom gave her cat to my 7 year old daughter only to later take the cat back after getting mad at me for something. Two years later my daughter still cries over missing the cat. I went no contact with her immediately following that incident. I found out my girlfriend was hitting my dog when I wasn't around. I left her and she was unable to admit that was the reason. I guess answering the question of what happened to you guys, with oh he found out I was secretly hurting his dog might make for awkward conversations. How did you find out? I would reach out my hand to pet him and he would flinch. He also would try to avoid her and if he couldn't he would go submissive. I finally asked because he was in a corner and she approached him and she raised her hand as if to hit him. I asked if she had been hitting him in the head and she said yes basically. She just used about 500 words to answer the yes or no question. You can generally tell when someone's been hurting a dog or a cat based on their behavior towards that person. Like, if a dog that was previously super excited and happy to meet new people or interact with people that you bring over is now skittish and hides from specific people, or is suddenly aggressive towards them. There's a good chance that they've been hurt by that person or have seen that person hurting someone else. X. A child. I have a cat that has even placed himself between me and something that he thought was going to hurt me. It was the vacuum cleaner. But the thought was still there. Animals know when something is scary or dangerous. And will usually let you know how they feel about it in their own way. This happened to me too with a guy. I caught him on Arlo cameras after I changed the batteries which had been dead for the duration of the relationship. I had him arrested and he was charged with a felony. Mind you my dog is 12 pounds. 13 years old. And blind. That's just effing evil. That dog. Well any dog but that dog only deserved all the loves. As someone who recently got into keeping venomous reptiles. I'm sure this will be an issue at some point. Even non-venomous reptiles can be an issue. Several of my boyfriends have been afraid of snakes, and even more tarantulas. Though usually they calm down when they see you aren't treating them like toys or being a dumbass about them. Love snakes. Had tons of them years ago. Don't like spiders. Don't like them at all. Not arachnophobic. Just don't like them. One day a year ago I found a jumping spider in my place and I decided to let him chill since he was a whole lot smaller than that huntsman I got off my ceiling the week before. One day I spot the jumping spider on the windowsill and he has a huge box elder bug in his jaws. I don't like spiders but I really hate box elder bugs. I just laughed and scooped him up then released him outside in a tree to finish his meal. So I ordered a terrarium a few days ago and I'll find a jumping spider to house in it. I'm actually excited because they are so cute and have personality. Truth story. I'm paraphrasing. My friend had his girlfriend spend the night at his house. While he was making her breakfast she began complaining about his nasty dog. My friend told her, you should stop complaining. The dog lives here and you don't. They broke up a week later. My friend got mad at his GF's dog. His GF yelled at him. I told him, you know who she will choose if this keeps up, right? I think we all know how it works. You might think you're faithful, but you should consider the competition first. I bred tarantulas professionally for a few years. Most were in a specially designed shed outside, but I had a few in the house. Was totally upfront with people when dating, and if it was a deal breaker, then no hard feelings. I dated this one guy for a few months, but we'd always go out or to his. I didn't really think much of it. Around month 4, he started getting annoyed and one day, straight up asked me how long it was gonna take to sell a few spiders. I thought he was talking about my actual job, so I was like, oh, I sell them in bulk to a supplier. He's coming round on Tuesday, actually, and my BF was so relieved, but I couldn't really understand why. So the dude comes round on the weds and sees the tarantulas in the house and goes on an absolute tirade about how I lied to him. How I've broken his trust, and how he's gonna need time to heal. NGL. I just burst out laughing. I was like, you really thought I was gonna give up my job for you? Well that was apparently not the reaction he expected. He stormed out, yelling about how I was such a dumbie for not realizing how great he was Lmao. Tried to crucify me on social media, but he just ended up looking like an idiot lol. What an idiot. My only request would have been that the ones in the house not be in the bedroom. 
Big Nocturnal Boy Go Shuffle Shuffle. What kind of idiot doesn't get that when you say you breed an animal professionally that means that they're not just your pets and you will always have some around. Like dude, they're your effing job. Without them you have no money. I was more than happy to compromise and put the ones in my house outside when people came over. But I wasn't gonna get rid of 10,000 spiders and my livelihood for a 4 month relationship. Not me. But my sister was dating a guy who angrily accused her of loving her elderly cat more than him. She said she did she had had him for 14 years and they had only been dating for about a month. Guess he wasn't expecting that because he just kind of shut up and left the house. Lol. Guys, I've been dating this chick for over a month now and she still likes her cat more than me. Sure she's had him for 14 years but come on. It's just a cat. Dude can f off. I'm married with 3 kids and I still have a special spot in my heart for my cat, Stella, who is 14 this year. I was gifted her maybe 1 to 2 years before I met my husband so he understands our bond. My wife had a cat for close to 10 years before I met her. I've never met a cat so much like their owner before. I won over my wife and her cat. We used to joke that it was a sister wife situation. I only got a few years with her before she passed. It was so hard, like losing a bit of my wife. Such a great cat. I had an incredibly toxic boyfriend who had at one point paid the fee for a rescue cat for me for my birthday. The cat really didn't like him. She wasn't aggressive she was just skittish and didn't want to be around him. We had gotten into a fight earlier that day about something unrelated and he decided to start ranting about the cat and how he believed we should get rid of her. That she was a bad animal just because she was skittish she was a rescue. And a very loving one at that if you let her come to you when she felt safe. He started to threaten to leave her at the humane society or get rid of her when I wasn't around so I couldn't stop him. I told him to get out of my house and immediately broke up with him. Butters is still making quality biscuits at my side and loves to take naps with me. Or Butters my dog was named Butters. He passed away 12 stroke 21. 11.5 years old, osteosarcoma took him, give butters a hug and kiss for me. Had an old friend who chose her ex's dog over the ex, and though there was no choosing in the ones not around any more sense, my dog 1000% loves my husband more than he ever loved me, if I had not married my husband, pretty sure my dog would have given Emmy an ultimatum, when my husband and I first met, I wasn't sold, but my dogs loved him so much that I gave him another date. And then another, we ended up moving with the dogs and his cat, to Central America for 2 years, coming back to the US, opening a restaurant and having a kid, the dogs have long since passed from old age, but I'll forever be grateful that they convinced me to go on a second date with the best man in the world, I once dated a girl for a couple of years, we met at a pub where we both ended up having lunch and a beer at adjacent outdoor tables, she had her adorable chow mix with her. I wasn't even hitting on her, I just came over and asked if I could pet her dog, she said of course, and 10 minutes later I was still there sitting on the concrete playing with the dog, lol, she actually left me with her dog for a minute to go inside, when she came out and I stood up to return to my table and pay the check, she gave me her phone number, turns out she went inside to ask the owner about me, I was a regular, and make sure I wasn't a crazy person, with a solid assurance that I was not. She decided that anyone that's that good with her dog is someone she wanted to see again. Mom, I love you, but I think I like stepdad more. If you don't marry him, I'm taking the human and leaving. He's asking you tomorrow. Say yes. Act surprised. I dated a guy who told me he would convince me to choose him over my cats. I broke up with him shortly after, mostly due to that, was happily single. Then my now husband comes along and says... I've always wanted to be the husband of the crazy cat lady, way to win a girl's heart. I had an ex that joked about putting my cats in a burlap sack and throwing them into a river. I told him I'd rather stick him in a sack, tie it to an anvil and drop him into a river instead. We didn't date for very long. Now that man is a keeper if ever there was one. The dog chose me lol I divorced my husband and his dog destroyed his house and sadly wouldn't eat properly or do anything but stress until he came to live with me and my dog. But to be fair, my ex is terrible at pets. He just kept him outside all day and night with no interaction. The dog is a great Dane and at the time it was me, my toddler and my dog in a little townhouse but we gladly took in the big guy over keeping him alone and miserable with his actual owner. 
you can learn a lot about a person by how they treat animals. I think this is because animals can't talk back. It's one-way communication, which gives you good look into someone's behavior, because it's so on display. Needless to say, I live by this advice. Two friends of mine dated seriously years ago. Girl's cat had jealousy issues and peed on guy's shoes. Guy put cat in the bathtub and pissed on cat. Relationship didn't last much longer. The cat pisses on my stuff and it's fine. But I piss on the cat and suddenly it's a huge deal. What a double standard. He should have pissed on the cat's shoes, not on the cat. That's where he went wrong. Years ago I had was living with a friend that my GF's cat did not like. Kept pissing on friend's clothes. So he pissed in a cat's litter box and made the cat watch. Dominance asserted. Cat stopped its campaign of piss politics. This dude I used to date had a cat who was so attached to him. Whenever Rai came over, she would get so jealous. I was nice to her. Pet her. Cuddled. But as soon as I'd show the dude attention, she would be so hurt and just leave the room. One morning I left to go to work to find a big puddle of cat piss in my shoe. Man I bet she was pissed. Better to be pissed off than pissed on. Why is this so funny? It's horrible. But funny that the guy wanted to stoop to the level of the animal. Yeah like that. Mittens? How? How does it make you feel? I found out that me ex had been talking to her mom about putting my dog down while I was at work and just telling me she ran away or something. Before that moment I never would have thought I could have violent feelings towards a woman. But now I know in my heart that there's a serious possibility I would have hurt her had she actually done it. Damn. That's f -ed. Holy sh. How did you find that out? Was getting a divorce and the ex-wife demanded my dog or she'd take me to court over the house. I reluctantly gave him to her. She called me 5 days after taking possession of him. He was chewing everything of hers. Peeing all over her and her new boyfriend's house. I got him back and he never did any of that for me. Still have him and he is 15 years old now. I'm just glad she never put him down for doing that and returned your boy to you. I was thinking the same thing too many crazy stories out there. What a good boy. How much do they charge for such a spy saboteur? Ha. Huh. Dog knew exactly what to do. My ex wanted to share custody of my dogs who I adopted when I was single. And have my last name lol. Mostly he just wanted to be able to still be in my life. But he did love the dogs too. My attorney said well. If that's the only thing holding back an agreement. You should think about it and I replied it's a hard no I will fight to the ends of the earth because they are mine I won. I always thought it was adorable that when you take your pet to the vet that they give them your last name on the paperwork. 10 stroke 10 good boy. Well. He got jealous and a time I'd even pet the dogs in front of him. He started treating them terribly. Eventually he told me, basically, that he knows I wouldn't get rid of them but so long as they were around our relationship would be negatively impacted and would deteriorate. Then we broke up. Shrugs. Imagine feeling threatened and jealous of your so. Of 14 years. Petting a dog. They are well behaved. Housebroken. No behavioral issues. No financial burden. And honestly they are low maintenance in the attention department too. Thyar it's when I noticed something was very off and went ahead and proved him right. I didn't get rid of my dogs, and I just started distancing myself. Truth story. X says I'm leaving. I'm all worried about our cats. Don't want to lose them. Don't want to separate them. X says. Don't worry I'm not taking the cats. Immediate relief. I had the opposite happen when I divorced my ex-husband. When I moved out I took my two cats and my dog. He kept his two cats and had adopted a dog. When we got to our divorce hearing he was trying to petition for the custody of my cats. The mediator basically laughed him out of the room. I have a 14 year old calico that started as a family pet but bonded intensely with me. My husband was very sketched out by cats when we were dating. When things got serious and we talked about our future together. I told him point blank that she'd been in my life longer and there was no way I could leave her behind. He started coming over more to spend time with her. He would watch my cat from hell and read about cat behaviors, needs, and introducing them to new environments. We moved her into his apartment for about 6 months and then drove halfway across the country with her. She's now the queen of our neck apartment and can't seem to choose which of us she likes better. This is so wholesome. He went out of his way not just to get to know her but learn about cats and everything they need and want to be happy. He's probably a better expert on cats than most owners at this point lol. 
I ended it before she gave me the ultimatum. I would notice that she would get really annoyed with my dog some days. Welp. We broke up once I noticed that lol my dog will never break my heart. On our first date my now husband was talking a big game about how he doesn't like cats and cats don't like him while we were hanging out in my apartment with my two cats. I said well they were here first so don't even think you'll win that one. He wasn't asking me to choose but I wanted to make damn sure he knew I wasn't going to deal with any sort of ultimatum. You can now catch him holding one of our four cats to the window and showing them interesting things outside or burying his face in belly fluff. I found that a lot of people who claim to dislike cats or dogs come to love them as they live with them longer. It's not always the case, but it's hilarious when it is. Had to get a restraining order. Lightly related, I had to talk my so into adopting a cat 8 years ago. I vehemently convinced him. Sadie chose him the moment we got her, latched onto him in the car cuddles him every single day since, kisses him to wake him up, greets him at the door. She walks away when I enter the house she sees it's not him, I'm lucky if she even meows at me, she's cuddled me maybe 10 times in 8 years, I beg this cat that I fought so hard to get for attention. She's one of our favorite parts about our relationship, Eater. Thank you kind redditor for the award. Made my man's eye smile to read how much some of you can relate. I personally didn't want any animals when I met my girl. She had three dogs around 80 pounds each that live in her house. It really made me nervous about living together. I was never much of a domestic animal lover. I personally saw it as a waste of time and money. We've lived together for three years now. We have five dogs now. And they are the best part of my day. Never knew what I was missing out on. Are all 580 pounds? Because that has to be the biggest and cuddliest pile up ever. My dad gave away his dog because his wife said she was allergic. She wasn't. She just didn't like the dog. When my husband and I first started dating he was pretty jealous of my dog. I bottle raised that pup. The mom rejected the litter. I could only take one. Traveled across the country with him. Had snuggled him almost his entire life that dog is probably the closest I will be able to get to having a child. He goes literally everywhere with me. So when my, now, husband brought up the hypothetical situation in which I would have to choose between them he was not happy when I said I would choose my dog. Hands down. I made it very clear to him. Though, that a large part of that decision would come from his forcing me to choose. My doggo and I are a package deal. Who in the world would trust someone that dumped a pet? Made to choose? That really happens? I've had my dog for 12 years, and I've known my wife for 4. For her to expect me to get rid of him would be insane. I've told my wife a hundred times if they were both hanging off a cliff and I could only save one of them I'd save her. But I'd take a second to think about it first.